Okay, another example of the normal to approximate the binomial, it says, we know that 32% of students are under the age, uh, CHUC students are under the age of 21. We take a random sample of 50 students. What is the probability that exactly 18 students are under the age of 21? You might think to yourself like, I, well, we could use the binomial situation for this one, but some of these other ones that at least more than, at most, fewer than. So we are going to use the normal to approximate the binomial. So I'm going to walk through this process step by step. First one, let's find what n is. Well, it says we have 50 students, so that's n. Now p would be, what is the probability of selecting a student who is under the age of 21? That's 0.32. Next, q. Well, it's 1 minus p, so it's 1 minus 0.32, so I get 0.68. All right, so that's first step is identify n, p, and q, because that's what we need for most of our binomial stuff. Step two is going to do that check step, because we want to make sure n times p and n times q are greater than 50. Or, I'm sorry, greater than 5. So n times p is 50 times 0 0.32, which equals 16. The next one, we're going to do n times q, which is, sorry, this is 50 times 0.32. The next one we're going to do n times q, which is 50 times 0 0.68, which is 32. Looks like they're both bigger than 5, so we are good to go. We're going to go on to the next step. Step 3 is going to be to find the mean and the standard deviation. Remember the mean is n times p, which you actually just did right here, and that was 50 times 0 0.32. which is 16. Standard deviation, square root of NPQ. So that would be square root of 50 times 0.32 times 0 0.68, which is, I don't know, square root of 50 times 0.32 times 0.68 which is three point, let's round that two decimal points, 3.30. All right, now we're ready to start tackling these problems. I know it was a lot of work that just went into the setup, but now that we've got that, we can work out a bunch of these. So let's start with the first one, which says, what is the probability that exactly 18 out of the students, 18 out of the 50 students are under the age of 21? So we're going to put 18 here. We want exactly. So with that continuity correction, we're going to go just below and just above. So we're going to use 17.5 and 18.5. And I go to my normal distribution. We're actually going to use this in between tab this time. We're going to go right below 18. So we're going to use 17.5. And then we're going to use 18.5. And then we're going to use a mean of what was our mean? I think our mean was 16 and our standard deviation was uh, 3.30. So the probability is 10%. So the probability that x was equal to 18 was 10%. Now I wanted to show you, we could have done this one in the binomial, right? Because we knew that there was 32% of students, and we had 50 students, and we wanted to find the prob probability that 18. And what do we get here? Here you got 9.7%. Again, this is why we call this an approximation. It's close. This is the exact answer. We approximated it to 10%. The next one we could not do in the binomial, but find the probability that at least 18 students are under the age of 21. I guess we could, but it would take us a while. At least 18. Is that 18? Is that more than 18 or less than 18? Well, think about it. You have to be at least 18 to vote, right? That's 18 or older. So at least is greater than or equal to. So I'm going to make a note here. This means greater than or equal to. So that means we're going to include it, right? So if I want to include 18, I'm going to shade right below. And with our continuity correction, we're going to find the probability that x is bigger than 17.5. In my answer, I still say greater than or equal to 18. 
but what I put into the Excel spreadsheet is actually going to be 17.5. So my, um, my mean was 16, my standard deviation was 3.30, and I'm going to enter 17.5 in because of my continuity correction. And so the probability that it is greater than 18 is 32.5%. All right, what is the probability that more than 18 students are under the age of 21? More than would be greater than, but I'm not going to include 18, so we're going to be just above it. So with the continuity correction, we're going to actually be doing 18.5. So the probability that x is greater than 18, again, to make sure that we do not include 18, we're going to change that to 18.5 and that probability drops to 22.4%. All right, so now what is the probability that at most 18 students are under the age of 21? At most. When we say at most, what we mean to is up to and including, right? So that is up to and including 18. So up to and including 18. So we're actually going to want to use 18.5 here for our continuity correction. So this is the probability that oops, x is less than or equal to 18. So less than or equal to 18. We're going to put in actually 18.5 here. And we're going to pick less than. So this would be 77.6%. Finally, our last one, what is the probability that fewer than? So fewer than is fewer than 18 students are under the age of 21. That is less than, but it's not going to be equal to. We do not want to include the 18, so we're going to pick 17.5. So we're going to do less than 17.5. And there I see 67.5. So the probability that x is less than 18 which was 67.5, I think. Whoops. Let me check that again. It was 67.5%.